Floss Tube, Kate here of Colorblind Cross Stitch. It is May 13th, um, and this week I have um, some progress to show you on my Egyptian sampler, which I have been, that's what I've been working on this week. Um, and I have some few stitch positions to show you. I also have Aneko, apparently, who has decided that he needs to sit in my lap. I don't know if you can see that, but that's okay. Um, and then I have a bunch of cool things that I bought because um, yesterday I went to Ottawa Comic Con, and most of them aren't stitch related at all, but they're really cool. So I'm going to show them to you anyway at the end, because who doesn't love cool things? So yes, let's get started. Um, the first thing, as I mentioned, is progress. I have been working on Teresa Wentzler's Egyptian sampler. As I mentioned, this has kind of has been kind of my my stitch mania everything. So that's what it looks like, or will look like rather. That's what it will look like when it's finished. super pretty. I'm pretty excited. And this week I have finished, um, I wonder if I can, he's still in his hoop, so let's see if I can do this. Um, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll sort of do that. I have basically finished Osiris. Uh, last time you saw this, I had done uh, his legs, all his legs and I started on his arms like sort of up to there uh, so now I have finished um, all of his legs his arms his head his fancy hat I did the back stitching I haven't completely finished the back stitching just because all the places I haven't back stitched there are more cross stitches to go in there first um, like he has Horus's and Isis's hands, they're both, they both basically have a hand on his shoulder. Um, so I need to do the cross stitching first, and that's why like his flail, not his flail, that's his flail, his flail is done. Uh, the crook loops around more, um, but that will overlap with uh, the stitching of Isis's hand, so I need to finish Isis's arm first before I can finish that and put the rest of the back stitching in on Osiris's shoulders. So, yeah, so, and also, I don't know if you noticed, I did both, I did do his skin conversion to make it green, so he's a greeny, a greeny beige now instead of a normal skin color um, to sort of fit with his mythology better. And, I was looking at the the chart to do his face, and there's just a lot of fractional stitches in his skin. Um, and I was looking at that and going, like, there's so many fractional stitches, I might as well just do his skin over one. So that's what I did, and I think it came out, I mean, it looks kind of weird before I put the back stitches in, but once I put the back stitching in, I think his skin came out looking um, pretty good. But oh my goodness, those are tiny, tiny stitches. I, I'm i pretty sure, like, I gave myself eye strain doing that and had to stop a couple times to do, uh, like, to rest my eyes. So, I mean, I have to say this is probably the best worst decision I have made. Because <laughs> it, looks, it looks really good. I like how it looks. I'm really happy with it. But... Having done Osiris's face one over one, that means that I have to do Horus, Horus's chest, Horus's legs, and then Isis, Isis's arms, Isis's feet, and Isis's face, all one over one stitching, which is a lot of skin, which is probably why Teresa Wentzler didn't chart them that way. Um, 
And then there's Pharaoh and her uh, Pharaoh and his queen also have one over one phases, but they are actually charted to be one over one. So um I think I'm going to have to Oh yes, and the hieroglyphs have the Horus eyes are one over one, the hieroglyphs, the little hieroglyph flannels are one over one, the two faces are one over one, they're charted that way. Um, and now I'm doing Horus and Isis, their skin over one. So that's, that's a lot of one over one stitching, that's a lot of tiny stitches. So I'm gonna have to do, probably do like do a bit of skin, take a break, do something else, do a bit more skin, take a break, do something else. Something like that to, you know, and and work very slowly probably and, and to get it all done in, you know, just to, to get it all done and not give my eyes um, too much pain. But it's going to look amazing when it's finished. So there is that. Okay, that's that. Uh, for stitchy mail, I have, I only got one thing. I got scissors. Actually, these are, they're curved. This is why I like these. Actually, these, these ones technically are my old pair of scissors, but of the things that I ordered recently from eBay, my scissors arrived and the new scissors look exactly like the old scissors, so I figure you can check out my scissors. Scissors, scissors, and they're, like I said, they are curved, which is why I like them, and they're nice and sharp. And these were, like I said, an eBay find from, you know, somewhere in China. They took like six weeks to get to me. Yeah, I think I ordered them at the end of March, March 20-something, 20, 20 so. Six weeks, maybe even seven weeks. But, like, they were, like, two dollars a pair. So, I mean, for embroidery scissors, that is dirt cheap. Um, and so now I have a pair of scissors to put in all of my projects um, that are nice and sharp and curved, because I find the curved ones I can get nice and close to the fabric to chop my ends off um, so my ends are nice and neat so that was that for stitch coordinations i know super exciting i got a bunch of scissors Put that there. but then there was all the things i got at comic-con which was amazing and fun um all the cool things so, and the first things I got actually are stitch related. Um, these are magnets. So I got three. Um, the first one is Star Wars. That is I was thinking the Rebel Alliance, but I don't think the Rebel Alliance has the star. So it might be like the New Republic or the Old Republic. Um, I know, I fail at being a Star Wars fan, don't I? But it was super pretty. And it was the good guys, like, rather than the Empire. So I'm like, I'll get that one. So that was one. My second one is Pokemon Go Team Mystic because in Pokemon Go, I am Team Mystic. So I thought that was good. And then the third one, which decided me on buying these magnets to make them into needle minders, is this one, because it is Star Trek and it is Make It So, and I love puns, and it will be the perfect needle minder. It'll be great. So, make it so. Make it so we'll keep mangoes. So there, I have three magnets. When my magnets finally come, that are being shipped, I will put magnets on the back and turn them into, well, I'll put other magnets on them and turn them into needle minders. Um, I'm not sure, because I think technically these, these black magnets, um, they can mark up 
the fabric because the black stuff comes off. So I'm not sure whether I can do something like coat them in clear nail polish um, to sort of seal them. Or when my magnets come that are coming from eBay, just stick a like crazy glue a silver magnet over the black magnets. They'll be a little more thick, but that's okay. I'm not sure. But yes, and they're they're a nice, they're actually like a really nice size for needle minders. They're not too big and not too small, so I bought those. Which is, as I said, these were the most the most digi related thing I got at Comic Con. Actually, the other not quite stitchy related thing, which I didn't actually buy, but that I saw, was there was someone who had done a bunch of um, perler bead art, and they're um, it's like the um, the plastic beads that you like melt in the oven and they melt together kind of thing. Uh, and perler bead patterns are basically cross stitch patterns with full crosses. Um, and this person had done a bunch of things, and one of the things they'd done was all of the evolutions, so like Eevee, Jolteon, Flareon, so on and so forth, um, you know, all of them together as, as a piece of perler bead art, and the perler bead piece was sort of like, yay, yay big, but I looked at that, and all I saw was, oh my god, I want to cross stitch that so bad. It would make an awesome cross-stitch pattern, and I would love it because Eevee is my favorite, and all of the Eeveelutions, it, yeah, Eevee and the Eeveelutions are my favorite, and it would be amazing, but it was a piece of perler art, not an actual pattern, so. I looked at that and went, aww, but didn't buy anything from that person. I did, however, get several, several non-stitch related things, which I have in a, in a big thing, because I got prints, art prints, actually I need to take them out of their, out of their envelope so you can see them without the glare. Firstly, this one, I have, I don't know, I hope this comes up, these prints are kind of big, so. This is a dinosaur alphabet, and I really like this person's art because I don't remember who, what they're called, but they have, let me see if I can find a good, feathered raptors, because raptors have feathers, and so we have feathery dinos, and actually she was, I asked her what they were. And she was able to name 24 of 26. I don't know all of them. I know M is the Microraptor, V is the Velociraptor, U is the Utah Raptor, K is apparently a con. I remember that one because it was short. And A up here is Ankylosaurus, and Ankylosaurus was always my favorite dinosaur as a kid. I don't know why, I just I really liked them. They were cool. So it even includes my favorite dinosaur. And then T is a T-Rex. Where's T? Tyrannosaurus Rex. He even has a crown! Because he's Rex. So I can't I can't name I can't name the rest of them. I need to like look them up. Um and learn them. B might have been a Brontosaurus. I actually don't think it was. I don't think Brontosaurus. I don't think Brontosauruses have such ginormous heads. I think it was something else. But yeah, there are a whole bunch of cool dinosaurs, and dinosaurs are great. I love them. So I bought a dinosaur alphabet. The Microraptor looks so happy! It's great. And then I bought, let's move that bag, another set, actually a set of art prints. This one was two. 
Oh, will they come out of their bag? They will come out of their bag. So, I saw this one, and this is the Cana Day. So, all the dogs and wolves and foxes and jackals must be in here somewhere. Oh, yeah, because there's like the black back jackal. Or, no, that's a wolf. He looks. Oh, look, there are duels. Oh, there's the jackals. Okay. I knew there were jackals in here somewhere. There's the jackals. Duels and African wild dogs. All the wolves. And then these ones. Ah, maned wolves. Maned wolves are great because they're like foxes on stilts. They look like red foxes on stilts. And so then there's all the foxes. All the foxes. Including bad-eared foxes, which have really weird ears. And fennec foxes, which have really weird, but also really cute ears. They're actually not too weird. <laughs> They're so cute! Look, they even have island foxes, which are pretty... Pretty unknown. They're like their own fox family. Actually, no, wait, no, the island foxes are related to gray foxes which are different from red foxes. So yeah, there are all the foxes and wolves and dogs. Well, not the dogs, because I mean, if you wanted to include like all the dog breeds, that would be its own poster, probably, and then some. But yes, foxes and jackals and wolves. And so that was the dog family, the Canidae. And then it was like, for only $5 more, the same artist also had all the cats. And I haven't even looked at the cats very well because they weren't as easy to see on the artist's table. But yeah, see there's like the big cats down there. Lions and tigers and there's probably like leopards and I don't even know what a bay cat is. Caracals must be here somewhere. Oh, there's servals. And the cheetah. Oh, come on, where's the caracal? Ocelots. Leopards. Caracals, there's the caracal. They have tassel cat ears. They're, another, they're one of my favorites because their ears, they have tassel ears. The caracals. So yes, yeah, so that's all the that's the cat family. So now I have cats and I have dogs. Oh my goodness, the fishing cat looks so cuddly. Probably not. Probably, you know, you try and cuddle it, you'll get your face clawed off. <laughs> but he looks so fluffy and cuddly. So the snow leopard. Snow leopards always look super cuddly too. There's the snow leopard. So yeah, that was Fila Day is the cats, and Canada is the dogs. So I kind of had to get both of them. So they'll go. Maybe I'll move my fox. Actually, I don't know if they'll fit on that wall. That wall might be too small for both of them, so I'll have to find. I have to rearrange my walls and find wall space. And then the final thing, well, the, not the final thing, the final sort of print thing is all the evolutions. It's a bookmark and it actually, I don't know if you can see if it will come out in the video, but they actually, one side is shiny and the other side is just, just normal. So yeah, there's Evie in the middle and all the evolutions. Yes, there you are. Vaporeon, Jelteon, Flareon, Espeon, Leafeon, no wait, that's Glaceon, Umbrian, Sylveon, and then Leafeon in the corner. All the evolutions.
because they're my favorite. It's actually, um, it was like $3 for a bookmark, I think. Joy bought me those because my friend Joy is awesome. And, oh, cat hairs. Everything has cat hairs. No, maybe that's not a cat hair. Maybe that's just a scratch. But yes, and then my Christopher bought me this, which is super cool. It's a keychain, and it's a chainmail dragon. So he has the sort of black, black beads are his eyes, and then he has like his snout, he's like chomping on the key ring, and he's got like a ruff, and then he's got scales down his back, and then his tail, and then he has a little like scales on his tail. So that's cool because dragons and I love me some dragons and so now now I won't lose my office key because he's attached to my office keys yes and so I got the purple one because he's purple and cool and purple is like my favorite color He also got me purple tulips, which I stuck in the window behind me because they were a bit wilty. They got left in the car for a while, so they've actually perked up, so now I have pretty purple tulips. Um, but Neko is sitting in my lap. I don't want to move and move my cat because I'm already a mean cat money mummy. I'm a mean cat mummy for making him move. Um, and the final thing that I got from Comic-Con is this necklace. I'm going to see if I can take off and not cause everything to fall over. Which, oh, it goes that way. There we are. Joy bought me. Because dragons, because it's my birthday in like four days. Ow, Neko, you have claws. My cat has claws. Um, it is a dragon. And in there, he is wrapped around um, a picture of the moon. So it's a picture of the moon, and the person who does them, they're like moon glow designs. I'll have to, um, I don't know if I have cards for all the people I bought things from, but for the ones I can find, I'll link them below so you can check them out if they have a website. Um, because everyone should have cool things. Um, so yes, he's, he's a dragon. He's wrapped around the picture of the moon, and it's not just any moon, because what this person does is um, it's the moon of a particular day. So you choose a date and she figures out sort of like the moon phase um, for that date. Not just like the, the moon phase, but like sort of within like three or four days. And that is the moon that would have been in the sky on that date, sort of roughly. So um, this is what the moon would have looked like on the day I was born because it was my birthday. Well, it is my birthday coming up and moon dragons. So this is the moon is just past full. So apparently when I was born, I was born when the moon was just past full. Um, and so that's, that's super cool. So you can get like any date and put a, I had like necklaces and I think they also, she also had like rings and bracelets, um, sort of like moon moon jewelry and it glows in the dark so like during the day it's like pretty picture of the moon and then during the night i have a glow in the dark moon necklace and this one is a dragon of course because dragons because i love me some dragons and it's super cool 
So thank you, Joy. Again, I said that before, but thank you. Oh look, and my cat moved. My cat moved, so... Tulips! Look at how pretty they are. They're purple. I don't think the tulips smell like anything, but they're purple and pretty, and they've perked up a whole lot since yesterday. So yeah, so now I have pretty purple tulips. Maybe I can stick those here. And a pretty purple dragon. And cool things to become moon needle minders. Awesome art prints. And a moon necklace. And also, in terms of cross-stitching, I finished Osiris and I get to start on Isis or Horus today. I haven't decided who I'm going to start. Maybe Isis. Whoops, watch out, Neko. Okay, so that's my cat jumping on my bed. Um, and I think I'm going to stop this video before Neko tries and sits on the prints that are on my bed. So. Time to go rescue the art from the cat. I hope you have a great week. Thank you for all of your comments, likes, subscribes. You know, feel free to continue to do so. I love it. I love when you comment. I love likes. And if you like what you're seeing, please, you know, feel free to subscribe. All that good stuff. Have a great week. And I will see you next week. Bye.